Hello friends, this is Jimmy D for Anyone Can Learn Guitar and I wanted to do a brief tutorial on the control functions of Gibson ES335 style guitars. These guitars, man, they're just freaking incredible and it's funny because one of the things I've noticed is with Stratocasters and Telecasters and even less Pauls, you find good ones and bad ones and SGs and Explorers and you know, some of them are great, some of them not so much. I've never played a, a 335 that just wasn't a, a wonderful guitar. They're really versatile. Uh, so, starting from the beginning, all the way up on the toggle switch is the neck pickup. So, it, we're going to start with the, this is the volume knob for the neck pickup, and this is the tone knob for the neck pickup. So I have this pretty low, it's somewhere around 2, and the uh, tone is all the way up on 10. So it's a pretty nice sound. As the volume comes up, it kind of changes. Now if we roll the tone off of that, I'm going to turn the tone down to about 7. It starts to round out really well. We roll the tone all the way off. Clapton woman tone kind of uh, area. And now we go to the middle position, which is both pickups together. We're going to roll the tone back up. So I have the tone on 10 on both pickups. Now, this is the volume knob for the bridge pickup. This is the tone knob for the bridge pickup. So I have the tone on 10 and both volumes somewhere around 5. On. The more of the neck pickup you get in there, the bassier it'll get. And vice versa, you know, the more of the bridge pickup you get in there, the more trebly. There's tons of combinations between these two pickup settings. And now we're going to go all the way down, which is the bridge pickup setting. And uh, if you dial in a good tone from the neck pickup, by the time you get to the bridge pickup, if you have the tone knob all the way up, it might be too bright or too abrasive. That's a little bright to my ears at least, so I would roll the tone knob off. And now on the bridge pickup, you can even do some kind of a... sound if you're playing with somebody you know if you're playing with another guitar player that's playing a fender guitar or has a brighter tone you get on that bridge pickup and roll the tone knob off you get a nice, nice supporting rhythm tone and there's a million things that you can do with these guitars it's interesting to me because you see these guitars pop up on bandstands jazz players country players blues greats and rock greats and 
there's very versatile guitars and we're not even scratching the surface of what these things are truly capable of. Uh, I just wanted to give a brief rundown on the control function of the ES-335 and they're never underestimate them because they're unbelievable guitars. There's so many recordings that I've heard that I thought were, uh, you know, a certain kind of guitar rig that I thought was a Stratocaster and then I read about it and find out it was a 335 or I thought it was a Tele and I find out it was a 335. They're very, very versatile and beautiful guitars and the biggest difference in tone that I noticed from like a uh, Les Paul to a 335, Les Pauls have that that super heavy bass responsiveness and 335 sound more airy. You know, the, the bottom end on a 335 is much tighter than the bottom end on a Les Paul. It's not near as chunky, but it's much tighter. It's more of a singing tone. So, hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope it's very helpful to you. I'm Jimmy D for Anyone Can Learn Guitar. Thanks, and peace.